Hello everyone and oh boy. Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Weblog. We are uh, Monday, yeah, Monday, January the eleventh, two thousand and sixteen, and um, yeah, uh, filming the video weblog at around two in the morning on Monday night <laughs> is uh, probably the the very last shitty part of what has been a pretty bad day I would say I mean uh, at least I, I found solace in, in the fact that uh, I took solace maybe I don't know but I was I, I felt pretty good that once I was in my apartment I didn't need to go out because, um, well, let's start by the beginning. Um, it started out pretty bad when I woke up. Uh, at the moment, I should have been boarding the train. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. Oh, wait. Oh. All right. Um, so when you wake up when your train is supposed to, to leave and you're in your bed and the train is 15 kilometers away from you, you wonder why you didn't get up when, uh, you cut the, when you, you, you cut the alarm, uh, an hour and a half earlier, or even two hours earlier, uh, uh, to be quite honest. Uh, I had alarms at 6.30 and uh, 6.45, I think I even had one at 7 and was, uh, and when I set it up I was like, isn't this too late? Well, if, if anything, it's still earlier than when I actually woke up. <laughs> Uh, I mean that's pretty pathetic, but um, that's just the beginning. Um, it's kind of on me though, because um, when I say that, I know that I had an exam at 1 p.m. So um, the thing is, maybe we shouldn't have left uh, home at 11.30 a.m. knowing that there was almost an hour and a half uh, to go from uh, my parents home to my apartment and uh, from there maybe another quarter of, quarter of an hour to go from my apartment to the university so um, I should I should have said, yeah, at 11 a.m. I should have said, yeah, we're we're going. We don't care. Um, and to be to be quite honest, though, we were pretty much on time to to make you know a, a quick drop off at my apartment and then uh, roll around, ro uh, get around to to be at the university on time for my exam um, but uh, when we were on uh, when you, we arrived in Montpellier I, we had the time but we lost a significant amount of minutes when uh, two two dumpster trucks uh, got in front of us and I was like well uh, I'm 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 fucked this is this is the whole universe cr crumbling around me at least I will have more than an hour to be at my apartment drop off my food and um, the paper from for the printer and then uh, you know uh, go to the other class and be like well this is uh, this is the efforts of, uh, of three months that have been worth nothing even though um, when I'm saying about when I'm talking about the efforts of uh, the, the f f 
three months. Uh, it, it was worth nothing. Because I arrived at the university, I, I, I told my mom not to drop me at my apartment uh, and then go nowhere. I told her, I'm going to take the paper and all the food to the university, drop me at the university. So when, I, when she dropped me, it was 12.57. Um, thankfully, I wasn't too far from uh, the place uh, the exam was. And uh, then, it also only started at 1.10, because there's always people who arrive a bit late. Me being one of them. So, uh, I mean, I guess uh, this is this is uh, kind of stuff that's... Oh, that, uh, well, that's kind of okay. But then I fucked up so bad that I realized that, yep. Whatever the reason, <clears throat> um, seventy percent of the grade of the final grade just went nowhere. The exam on paper in in the the big 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 old classroom, seventy percent of the grade, I fucked it up pretty pretty well. Uh, and I'm not saying that I couldn't, uh, I cannot uh, clutch a a 10 or an 11 but even that is kind of a failure when you realize that um, on on aggregate the 30% th the of the of the note of the grade that was uh, through uh, smaller exams uh, on a computer or uh, in other classes well in, o in other uh, in other uh, sessions where like I'm 19 out of 20 and uh, it's 30% of the grade and I'm like oh boy well that that couldn't be more lopsided I mean it could be more lopsided but uh, I wouldn't want it to be you know it was it's like uh, uh, two years ago I had a really really great grade I uh, was around the same, the same, uh, the same place, nine, like eighteen, nineteen, and uh, suddenly I watch uh, at how the the final grade will be, uh, will will be the, the composition of the final grade, and um, it dawns on me that I gave too much, too much importance to uh, those little, little, uh, you know, quizzes. Because um, it was like one one third for that and two thirds for the the, the final exam and uh, so uh, yeah next there was uh, this other class we when we we sit around and you know kind of can play around on computers while trying to look a little bit. Um, a little bit interested by what uh, the professor tells us, and uh, the, on the there's a couple of things that I've taken from this class today. The main one being that he didn't let us uh, go on a little break at the middle of the three hours, uh, and that might be very first world problems. But I hadn't eaten since the morning, so uh, it was pretty complicated focusing on uh, on on the what he was saying instead of my stomach saying, "Hey, can can you please put something in me?" Because I mean, it's been nearly ten hours, man. I'm like, well, I mean. Apparently we're gonna have to wait for another hour or two. Uh, and I was like, "Oh boy, I'm gonna barf all over this this computer because this is not possible." Uh, but it was possible, and uh, then I that that class was over, and uh, I went back home under the rain with um. 
my computer case with a computer and uh, 200, uh, 125 sheets that weigh uh, 210 grams each. Uh, I'm doing the calculus, it's about, oh wow, maybe 300 grams of paper with my computer, all of, what, all, uh, all of it resting on, uh, on one shoulder and um, my, uh, my, <laughs> my backpack with, with stuff for the classes, of course, but also uh, food that I kind of have to, to eat. Not out of, uh, you know, a principle that, well, I mean, I'm awake at 2 a.m., so uh, at any rate, I should eat. But more like, well, it's out, and um, if I put it in the, in the fridge now, I'm fucked. Uh, because uh, I'm, there, there's nothing else to eat uh, besides uh, kind of junk food. But yeah, uh, I mean, at least when I when I went and uh, started uh, watching stuff on my computer uh, earlier in the in the evening, when I was like, this is going to to bite me in the ass, you know, not uh, <laughs> not filming the the video I vlog right as I step into my apartment at at 6:40 p.m. This is going to bite me. Come back and bite me in the ass, uh, which is totally, which is totally what this this um, this recording session is. Regretting intensely that I hadn't filmed it earlier, but hey, what can you do, huh? Uh, I mean, at least I I turned off the, the lights when I put myself under covers, so uh, at least there's that. Um, it also turns out that uh, the, the thermal insulation is not that bad. I mean, right now I'm in my t-shirt and shorts. Um, it could have been better because for some reason, all it took was settling in my apartment for the, the whole thing to get way colder. I mean, when I set foot in my apartment, it was like, well, I mean, that's... That's pretty okay. Um, two tangerines had uh, had mold over it, which means that uh, room temperature was fairly mild, <laughs> if not, if not. Um, I mean, it wasn't cold. For uh, at, that's that's the one thing that's for sure. It wasn't cold. It was pretty mild. Uh, so yeah was pretty okay but somehow me arriving and uh, doing stuff well suddenly the they decided that maybe we should vent out all of that air why I mean it's not necessary I I can live uh, in an apartment where temperature is around uh, 20 21 degrees you're not you don't need to to make it drop uh, to 16 I'm pretty sure it's not 16, but it could be, it could be, it very much could be, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, also something that I, I, I thought while watching the, the football match yesterday, and that I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the news, uh, I was like, well there's no way that this match in in quality could reach the middle grade but uh, the canal drones as I like to call uh, the subscribers to, to canal plus who will rate any kind of match even if it's a purge purge over 10 so over the the average um, that those are those are a real real really annoying category of uh, of uh, football watchers because sometimes it looks like they have no idea what they're doing because uh, when you see uh, some matches reaching a 14 and you you think that's kind of bad though 
14 for such a match. Could have uh, could have given it, you know, one point or two, one more point or two more points, because it was that good. That match I didn't think it was worth reaching 10, and I don't even think it was worth gi uh, reaching the uh, the grade they gave it, which is 525. 525. Just over a quarter of the whole extent, and still, to me, I'm I, I've been watching one half, and I was like, nah, uh, this is a a three at most, maybe a two, but yeah, not definitely not definitely not uh, worth uh, worth a ten, and not even worth a five. But you know that's. Uh, at least they weren't droning that hard. Well, uh, there's a couple of things I should do in this mo in this month of January, which uh, which are first getting a haircut and two shaving myself because uh, well I mean my my skin is very irritated. And um, apparently, having long hair—well, not long as much as uh, hair with volume—and um, this kind of uh, shitty facial pubic hair formation—I mean, it's even—it's—it's it's not even a good beard. All the hair there—it's dry. I mean, I, it's like putting my hands in the middle of a bush in the middle of the summer so uh, uh it's uh, mm, it's utterly disgusting and uh, could be a very negative point for uh, whenever I get an interview for an internship uh, I mean there, there there are good offers like uh, the one that was posted today on the group of my of my masters, and it looked very good because it had geology, and it's kind of like, well, that's that's kind of a backup plan if I don't find anything for the f in transportation. But it's also in Paris, so I'm like, well, I mean, it's a thousand euros per uh, a month, but it's in Paris, a thousand euros a month doesn't get you anywhere even even with my my scholarship that runs until uh, until June uh, it's not it's not leading me anywhere so uh, yeah I mean the, the 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 one internship I've seen that's in the in the, the the field of transportation is in a town that's fairly renowned for its racist assholes so uh I mean, me being um, pretty much what they hate, <laughs> a combination of what they hate, because uh, they, despite the fact that uh, there's a bit of uh, European blood, I mean a bit, like more than half uh, of, uh, of my ancestry is European, uh, it's still, you know, the problem being... Uh, well, there's the rest that is not European. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. So you're like that, huh? Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm not even tired at that point, but I, I, I mean, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna sleep anyway. So uh, with this, I leave you. I mean, that was a very. I, I feel. I feel bored by myself so I cannot imagine uh, that anyone watching this video won't be like ah, could you get to the point uh, the point is well that was a shitty day um, I'm glad that it's gonna be over in a couple of hours I mean just the time I I really hope that nothing happens to me between right now and um, the moment I I theoretically, theoretically go to sleep you know, like uh, sleeping in a shower or stabbing myself with a fork. That that's kind of gruesome, but hey, you never know what could happen. Um, so thanks. Oh fuck! So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.
and 